Today, we are going to be learning about Bill Gull. Not Bilbo, Bill Gull, the fairy. According to the Liber Officiorum Spiritum, there is a powerful fairy named Bill Gull that has the potential to destroy the world. What's even more interesting is that Bill Gull appears in the likeness of an ox with a man's head with flames of fire proceeding out of her mouth, though his duties are not detailed. However, over the years, Bill Gall has transformed from a man-type creature to a beautiful female fairy type. My guess is because they are fey folk and are traditionally considered overwhelmingly beautiful, a man's head on a bull's body is not really in line with the branding. All right, so let's get on to the forgotten legend of the enigmatic entity known as Bill Gall a fairy whose name whispers through the forests and causes the mighty to tremble. Bilgal, in the realm of myth, stands not merely as a sprightly figure synonymous with the innocuous tales of old. She embodies the potential for world destruction, a stark departure from the typical portrayal of her kind. So imagine a being that blends beauty with a haunting aura. Bilgal is depicted with ethereal wings that refract light, casting prismatic shadows. Her eyes are reflective as mirrors and pierce through the veils of reality, hinting at her vast knowledge and formidable powers. A crown woven from the darkest material of the night sky rests on her head, and it signifies her dominion over terrifying forces. But Bill Gall was not always a figure of dread. Originally cast in the role of a guardian of harmony, she exuded serenity and grace. Her essence was one with the natural world, and through her, the equilibrium of life thrived. So what happened? Well, what happened to the guardian of balance to transform them into an agent of chaos? Tragic is the tale of her turning. It is one steeped in betrayal, a wound that festers deep within her soul. Once a trusted protector, an unforeseen deceit shattered her trust, and with it, her purpose. Betrayal, a poison more lethal than the sharpest blade, altered Bill Gall's path, changing her into a fairy consumed by a quest to unravel the very fabric of existence. It is within this transformation that Bill Gall's powers find their roots. Born of her fury, she commands the elements, turning the tranquil winds into violent tempests, coaxing the earth to swallow whole the creations of man and commanding wildfires to erase the life she had once nurtured. Even more chilling is her mastery over dark magic, allowing her to summon cosmic disturbances and bend the will of lesser beings to her destructive talent. To understand Bill Gull is to recognize the duality of nature, to acknowledge that within beauty can exist a power formidable enough to challenge the very existence of the world. Her story serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the deep-seated impacts our actions can have on the souls of others. Once revered as the guardian of harmony, Bill Gull's story takes a dark turn, marked by an act of profound betrayal. Her transformation from a protective spirit to a harbinger of destruction is a tale that resonates with the timeless struggle between the light and the dark. Bill Gull, once the embodiment of balance and nature's gentle order, her ethereal presence was synonymous with peace. Yet, This serene existence was shattered when those she trusted most, her own circle of fairy kin, turned against her. They stripped away what she held dear, deceived by their own desires of power and control, a betrayal that wounded not just her spirit, but the very fabric of her being. And this treachery ignited a fury within Bill Gall, fueled by an overwhelming sense of injustice and thirst for retribution. No longer would she be the passive custodian of peace. Instead, she embraced the chaos that churned within her heart, which was once pure, and it became a wellspring of dark intentions, reshaping her into an entity capable of unraveling the threads that bind the world. The transformation was not merely a change of heart, it was a metamorphosis of her very essence. Her once luminescent appearance darkened, her wings, symbols of the guardian status, now bore the colors of the night sky, a mirror to her tormented soul. Her eyes, once reflecting the tranquility of the forest depths, now blaze with uncontrolled energy. As her powers grew, so did her resolve to undo the harmony she once preserved. She became a specter of vengeance, 
no longer the fairy of lore, but a force that could pulse with the rhythms of the earth to command the winds, summon storms, and wield the fearsome aspects of nature itself. In the silence of her sanctuary, Bill Gall, a master powers, harnessing the elements, mastering the forbidden arts of dark magic, and preparing to unleash her wrath upon the world that had cast her aside, the once guardian of harmony transformed, ready to awaken an age of discord and destroy the very world she was sworn to protect. In the realm of the fantastical, few beings command the awe and fear elicited by the mention of Bilgal. Known not just for her striking presence, Bilgal's powers are a source of both wonder and trepidation. At the heart of Bilgal's power lies her dominion over the natural elements. She is said to whisper to the winds and summon the fiercest of storms. Her command over water is equally impressive, calling forth waves that could swallow ships whole or dousing flames that might otherwise rage uncontrollable. But Bilgal's might extends beyond mere control of the weather. She orchestrates the very fabric of nature itself, causing the earth to tremble and crack, creating chasms and fissures that can engulf entire villages. Her affiliation with such raw forces of nature reveals a connection to the primal energies of the world, one that is ancient and potent. Perhaps it is her mastery of dark magic that remains her most formidable weapon. This is a sorcery steeped in the eldest of magics, a dark art that can warp reality, corrupt the purest of souls, and summon creatures from realms beyond our own. Bill Gall wields this power with an expertise that speaks of ages spent honing her craft. Wrapped in the shrouds of enigmatic rituals and incantations, however, the reach of Bill Gall's influence stretches into the cosmos. She can draw upon celestial bodies, provoking eclipses, and calling down meteors upon her foes. Legends whisper of times when the sky darkened at her behest, and the stars themselves seemed to realign, an ominous portent for those who dared to cross her path. It is this confluence of capabilities that permits Bilgal not only to subdue her enemies, but also to instill a destabilizing fear that reverberates through the lands. Her prowess in wielding such powers serves as a grim reminder of what one being can do when channeling the forces that underlie existence itself for destructive ends. With such an arsenal at her disposal, it is little wonder that Bilgal has etched her name into the annals of mythology as a fairy of unparalleled might, a destructive force, but also a fascinating mirror to the unbounded potential that lies dormant within the elements and darkness of the magical world. Enveloped in mystery and concealed by the veils of enchantment, the Forgotten Veil stands as the abode of the formidable fairy Bilgal. This mystical domain, shielded from the eyes of mere mortals, serves as a sanctuary for Bilgal, and it is here that her power finds its truest expression. The veil, shrouded in perpetual twilight, harbors an ancient magic that keeps it hidden from the known world. Such magic is not merely for protection, but is pivotal to sustaining the delicate balance of its existence. Within this realm, time seems to slow, providing an eerie sense of stillness that betrays a turmoil that broods beneath. The Forgotten Veil is as much a reflection of Bilgal as it is her dominion. The land is imbued with her essence and its flourishing flora and fauna feel the influence of her hand. Ethereal light stands upon the surfaces of tranquil lakes, yet the beauty of this place is laced with an underlying threat that whispers of Bilgal's destructive capabilities. Bilgal's connection to the Veil is synergistic. The land bolsters her strength while she, in turn, maintains the veil's mystical camouflage that keeps it segregated from the realms of man. It is within this hidden sanctum that Bilgal nurses her grievances and plots her actions, drawing strength from the veil's ancient energies to forge her powers into tools of cataclysmic potential. To understand the true impact of Bilgal on the wider tapestry of the world, an appreciation of the forgotten veil's significance is essential. It is a boundless source of her magical prowess and a bastion that allows her to wield such power with impunity, for the veil is not a place, it is an extension of Bilgal's very will. Bilgal's commands extend far beyond her own formidable abilities. She is not solitary in her reign. Rather, she presides over a court of peculiar and devoted followers. Conjuring images of shadowy spirits and mythical creatures, her entourage is as diverse as it is devoted. What compels these beings to align themselves with such a fearsome force? Some followers worship her as if she were a deity, offering their allegiances in hopes of basking in her might. Others, coerced by fear, serve to avoid her wrath, as even the whisper of Bilgal's ire is enough to cripple the bravest of hearts. 
Intriguingly, the relationship between Bilgal and her subjects is symbiotic. They are her eyes and her ears, whispering secrets of the world above, and in return, they are sheltered within the spectral shroud of the Forgotten Veil, a sanctuary from a world that has shunned them for their unearthly nature. Among her followers, there might be capricious pixies, once innocuous but now steeped in the dark enchantments of their mistress, shadowy wraiths glide in silence, their presence a chill in the air, echoing the coldness of Bilgal's own heart. Even the occasional goblin or troll, typically scorned by their kind, may find a place in Bilgal's realm, drawn by the promise of an upheaval of the established order. Each creature in Bilgal's motley crew brings its own unique facet to the coven, whether driven by admiration or a sense of belonging or the thrill of chaotic promise. They unite under her dark banner, and in their eerie corporation, they reveal another layer of Bilgal's influence, her ability to unite the most unlikely of allies in her quest to contend with the world. Bilgal is a fairy of formidable power. She poses a threat that extends beyond the borders of her mystical dwelling in the Forgotten Vale. She can unravel the very fabric of reality, and such a disaster has nearly come to pass, not once, but on numerous occasions. Her collisions with other mythical entities are legendary, each encounter leaving a scar upon the earth. When the earth quakes, when storms ravage the shores, some whisper it's Bilgal's clashing with celestial guardians who strive to keep the balance she seeks to upend. Legends speak of her battles with the titans of the wind and the sea, where entire landscapes were reshaped and once thriving forests were turned to deserts of glass and ash. These confrontations are more than mere skirmishes. They are cataclysmic events that impact not only the natural world, but the hearts and spirits of all who inhabit it. The dread she instills serves as a reminder of the delicate thread that holds together the tapestry of our world. Again with that. A thread that Bilgal is ever so capable of severing. As tales of her fury spread, they feed into the cycle of fear and power that Bilgal both generates and thrives upon. The very thought of her destructive capabilities has shaped cultures, warning of the ravages of unchecked power, and the ruin that follows. Her narrative is interwoven with the history of the land she endangers, a somber reminder of what might come should she ever fully unleash her wrath upon the world. Betrayal and revenge are fuels for a dark flame. And within the story of Bilgal, these are the very embers that ignite her transformation from protector to harbinger of destruction. Her tale serves as a stark reminder of the ruinous paths these emotions can carve, leading to irreversible consequences. It is within these profound spectrums of emotions that we find a warning. Unchecked vengeance can not only consume the one who harbors it, but can also lead to the downfall of entire worlds. It raises the question, when faced with betrayal, is pursuit of revenge truly worth its cost? Or is it a cycle that ends only in devastation, with no victors and only victims? The story of Bill Gall lays bare the heart of these questions, challenging us to consider the profound impact of our choices in the shadow of treachery. That's all I got today. Have a great day.